and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Naya dinosaurs to finish off our Throwback Thursday stream. So if you don't know about the Throwback Thursday streams, this is where um, I take a rare or a mythic that is rotating out here whenever Throne of Eldraine releases that hasn't seen very much standard play and give it a chance to shine in standard one last time before it leaves the format. Um, the card that most people com or like the one that got like the most comments on YouTube to build a deck around was just just Sath. Uh, the sun's avatar Jish Shath. I don't know that S H in the middle. That's hard to pronounce. I don't know exactly how you pronounce that, but, uh, we're going with the sun's avatar here. This card is, um, expensive eight mana, but man, it is powerful. Vigilant trample haste. Give me all of that. And then however much damage it deals to the opponent at however much combat damage you get to look at that many cards of your library and all the dinosaurs from among them you may put onto the battlefield um so yeah it's pretty sweet all right so that's that's what we're going to be going with here so in order to get Jisath onto the battlefield i'm just going to go with that hopefully that's correct we're going with a lot of ramp some people are asking for like Jisath reanimator but in order, for, like, in order to take advantage of this card, you need to you want to play a lot of dinosaurs because you want to be hitting dinosaurs with the trigger. And so I don't really know how it's going to fit in like a whole bunch of dinosaurs plus reanimate stuff. I'm, so I'm going with just ramp. And so in order to ramp enough, we have you know we have our nine two mana creatures. We have our commune that can can find land can help find this. We got some domries that can add mana as well. And then I'm going with ranging raptors. I'm going four ranging raptors here. Um, whenever it's dealt damage, you can search your library for a basic land so i'm going to be hoping uh for ranging raptors to do some work for me i only have four basics though so i don't have like tons of basics but i mean i feel like if we're if we just get you know like two or three lands with raging raptors we're probably fine um i don't have very much white mana because all we have is Jasath and zakama and the main deck that's white um does mean that like awakening sun's avatar may be a little more difficult to cast but drover the mighty can get there too um, it's pronounced big boy. <laughs> um, but uh, in order to help turn on the ranging raptors, we have the savage stomp uh, to deal damage. The you know that does fi that fights so deals damage. We have the domri that fights deal damage, and of course we have marauding raptor. That if we have this in play, then ranging raptor will ramp. So that's what we're doing. We're ramping. If we're getting cool dinosaurs, and this is Throwback Thursday, we need to we need to put in a couple more sweet dinosaurs that has that haven't gotten to see enough play. We have a Tali, Primal Storm. That uh, whenever it attacks, exile a top card each player's library. Then you can cast them. So you know we can just maybe just cast Jisath or Zakama off of Itali. That would be awesome. And then we also have Burning Sun's Avatar. That whenever it ETBs, it deals three damage to target opponent or Planeswalker and three damage to. E to up to one target creature at first i thought this uh, when i was putting this together i i was like wait is burning sun's avatar like etb and attack so like we play you know we play it and then give it haste with like register alpha and attack and get another trigger and then so i was just etb and i was like oh that's sad but that's still a pretty good um trigger there all right so sideboard so yes yeah, so we're going big here and you know what sideboard like we're playing dinosaurs we're still going big here um hey what's up butters so we're still going big in the sideboard also so even against the aggro i could play like a bunch of like little removal you know you have your like lava coils and your clarions and all that kind of stuff i'm going flame sweep instead of clarion though first because flame sweep doesn't kill these two threes um but then instead of just like a bunch of little removal we're still just going to go big against against aggro i'm going to be bringing in verdant sun's avatar I'm still going to just try to ramp and just ramp into this thing, gain life, and then each, you know, like this This is just a gain five life whenever it enters, and then every creature you play, uh, you gain life equal to its toughness. So that's our plan there. Um, we also have like a trap, trap jaw tyrant, because uh, I've just, I don't think I've ever played this card ever, so I want to play this card because I've never played it before. So this is in here to like exile some creatures against like the, you know, like your Risen Reef type decks that don't have very much removal. Let's exile a bunch of creatures. Um, again, against those Risen Reef type decks and everything, against the green decks, with, we're going to be playing Awakening Sun's Avatar. It's just 
still going big, destroy all non-dinosaur creatures. So that's going to be awesome. Um, and then I have Huatlis in here against Control and Ceratops. Ceratops and Huatlis come in against Control, where Huatlis can just make us a whole bunch of dinosaurs, or we can also minus X and, you know, target these things, do a little bit of damage, but basically we get to make some dinosaurs. Plus, I guess I can, I could, I could play Huali against aggro too with the gain life. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, that's what we got. So I'm not, not even going like Blood Sun or, you know, Lava Coils, that kind of stuff. I'm going big. This is, this deck is all about going big. Okay. So that's our deck. Let's go big or go home. Naya Dinosaurs. Yeah, Sword Tooth, we don't, like, I don't have, like, tons and tons of land drops to hit all the time for Sword Tooth. Just want Ranging Raptors instead. All right, good looking hand. Commune find red source, and then Marauding Raptor, and then Ripjaw Raptor. Go big or go home. That's gonna be my YouTube title for this video. Eh, Ripjaw's good against mono red at least. If it is mono red, Scar can do some some stuff. Do you think our opponent's going Mu Mu Yanling sleeves and icon and then mono red? I have too many spells in the dino deck. Dinos can't cast spells. Well, dinos can, like, sit around and commune and stuff, I guess. Because what do I have? I have four commune, three savage stomp, which that's, again, all about dinos. So I have I have seven dinosaur spells and then three domries. And domries are, are all about dinosaurs also. I don't have too many spells in the dinosaur deck, right? Nah. Deck's perfect. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of wanted to play a trap draw on the main deck. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't fit it, honestly. Because, I like, you know, we're playing three Regisaur Alpha, and I want four Regisaur Alpha, but with with us playing all these other big, really cool dinosaurs, I just couldn't fit the other ones. Um, yeah, Fat Butters did sub to make the sub, sub count nine just a little bit ago. I forgot to update that. Good call. My bad. We are one sub away from our sub goal for the day. Okay. All right, opponent decides to play magic. That's nice of them. I wish Trap Jaw just exiled for good. Honestly, it's a mythic. It should just exile for good, right? Like that card wouldn't be like like it would at least see play. It wouldn't be like broken if it just exiled for good, would it? I don't know. Maybe it would be broken. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't, probably wouldn't be. You have to deal damage to it, so you have to like be playing stuff that, that does the damage to it. And it has to sit around. And it's also just a creature that dies to cast down. And everything. I wish it just exiled for good. It's, it's a mythic rare. There you go. Exile target creature with power less. Yeah. Well, that was the most disappointing match I've ever played. If you don't include all the other matches that were more disappointing than that. Okay. Let's uh, play a match here and go big. 
<laughs> nice win, much skill. Ooh. I like it. Man, what if what if Commune the Dinosaurs finds Marauding Raptor? Come on, deck, Marauding Raptor. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, this this deck's busted. 100 percent win rate. Turn zero wins in standard. Or turn one wins. I guess I played I played a land. Oh, I thought that was Marauding Raptor. Darn it. Um Probably should take the land over the six drop. Hello. Okay, okay. Dang it. That was the card that punished me for attacking. Trickster, that is. Can you attack into this Ranging Raptor now? Alright, to be honest, playing eight mana creatures that get countered is probably not going to work out so well against the Simic Flash deck. Well, my opponent hit it pretty well by playing Guildgate, which, you know, usually you just see the Guildgates in, um, usually you just see Guildgates in, uh, the Gross Spiral deck, the Scape Shift deck. All right, keeping the Ranging Raptor back because this is probably a wolf. I need to play D against this wolf here. So now our creatures can't get countered. Really do not want to see any more tricksters. Okay. Keep ramping. Now all we need to do is draw a land and we can play Jazath. Uncounterable Jazath. We need to draw land. It's a seven six. Gosh, it gets blanked pretty easily though. Oh, I did tick up Tomri first. I just got excited. Oh, I didn't tick up Tomri first. Uh. Yeah, I, I do rank stuff too, young young PZ. I don't there's no like deck in particular that I just play in ranked. I play tons of different decks in ranked also. Just like I do in constructed events. I just do them I do them both. 
What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, I don't have like a sp specific deck that's like my rank up deck. I really should be fighting, probably, but I didn't come here to not play Jisath. It's kind of weird. This is really weird. Weird sequencing. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Stupid cutthroat is so big. It's not even worth attacking. Just going infinite. Just going infinite. Alright, so uncounterable with Domery was pretty sweet, even though they didn't really have counter spells too much there. So we want some Ceratops, Carnage Tyrant. Kinda wanna play this thing, but it's probably gonna get countered. This has gotta be good. I don't know about gotta be good, but it's probably pretty sweet. So we just brought in Ceratops and Carnage Tyrant. So we can trim Burning Sun's Avatar. Three doesn't kill a lot of stuff. And I don't know. That's the problem. I want to play all these cards. I guess we take this thing out, I guess. I'm just gonna it costs nine mana and it gets countered. I guess the same with this.
Yeah, basically just replacing some of our top end with Ceratops. Which I don't love. I don't love that as a trade. No, Savage Stomp is very good with counters. Savage Stomp's perfect. Because we saw, like, Savage Stomp, like, really helped us win that, that game. Because you, because it only costs one mana, you get to, you can, like, play something else that counter it, and then you Savage Stomp, because it only costs one mana. It lets you double spell. And it's just so good with, like, the ranging raptors and everything. Yeah, I mean, we had we had double commune the dinosaurs with, like we we had a three land hand there that I kept because the communes the communes are lands. Yeah, that was a three land hand. It wasn't a one land hand. Alright, I'm pretty confident we're going to just draw a land here, so I didn't need a commune, because this top card is going to be a land. Hopefully. Darn. It's a little annoying putting a Ceratops down to the bottom. <laughs> Psychic count today, negative one. <laughs> Yeah, did not call that one. I mean, it was kind of a land, right? Like, this thing adds mana. There's a card that adds mana. Drawn. Basically a land. That's a pretty good chance that they counter Savage Stomp if I play it. I am like attacking into a wolf, but you know, maybe they try to blast down this thing. Because, yeah, I thought that like, you know, they can't counter the Ceratops, but like they have all that mana, so if I try playing Stomp, it probably just gets countered.
stop. So yeah, I played the Riptar Raptor while I didn't have counter magic, plus stomping Riptar Raptor is pretty good. Where they can't counter these things anyway. Dinos! Dinos! Stomp, 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 stomp! Alright. We're going big. We're not going home. We're going big. We only played one match, but you know, counts as 2-0 in the scoreboard in the league. Oh yeah, Sultai Flash would have been a lot harder. Yeah, a bunch of cast downs and noxious grasps. That would have been a whole lot harder, absolutely. I don't know if I... No, I'm not going to end up trimming my top end in that much. No, the top end's all about... Like, that's what our deck's all about. Is this top end? I won't trim it that much. That was just a counter spell deck. Ugh. Well, double Savage Stomp. Not spectacular here. Okay. Savage Stomp just got a lot better. Ranging Raptors, go get me some basics. Give me a basic. So that's five mana. This is six mana. So this means, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do this. So this means that if we draw a land next turn, we can play Jasath. Come on, draw a land. Come on, draw a land. Jisseth. Oh man, hoping for this land so bad. Come on, deck. One time. Oh, death touch. It's rude. Yeah! Heck, they can block ranging raptors. If they do, they're not blocking Jisseth.
Probably should just attack with the Otepa Cup Master too. All right, so we only dealt two. Yes! Oh man, what a card! Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> oh. Wow. So yeah, we dealt we dealt two trample damage. So we got to look at the top two cards of the library and put any dinosaurs into play. And we got another one. Wow. Ugh. That's Hazmat. That's all your fault, Hazmat. Saying incoming trophy. That's all your fault, that trophy right there. You should feel bad. They would not have had that trophy if you didn't say anything about it. Okay, so... Drawing another land now. That that was really cool, but that Assassin's Trophy, unfortunately, didn't get to... Don't get to keep on doing that. That was pretty awesome. Okay, we got to figure out how we can do these last seven points of damage here. Maybe we'll draw Zakama. Or, you know, like any dinosaur. So they get a 2 2 also. They'll have the, this 5 6 and a 2 2 to block. Oh, plus they'll have a couple mana. Man, that Assassin's Trophy really hurt. Okay. I'll take it. What a glorious day for some anarchy. Give me a new card. We are the many. Dino. Okay. No, I don't have enough red. Uh, don't have enough red for the avatar. Attack. That was a good turn. Even better than just drawing Regisaur Alpha. Draw removal plus Regisaur Alpha. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is a Awakening Suns Avatar matchup. That's coming on in here. And do we want Trap Jaw? Trap Jaw can just exile the tokens, which is kind of cool. But what do we cut? Do we cut a rip jaw? Smaller than their 5 6? Yeah, we'll cut one rip jaw. And then the Chaos Bringer? The Carnage Tyrant? Yeah, maybe the Carnage Tyrant. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I know, right? A huge dinosaur should be able to take out more than two or three zombies. I agree. All right, deck's perfect. Yeah, flame flame sweep is like this deck doesn't doesn't just get like lots of hmm. 
think where I'm at right now, I want Ripjaw. Over Trapjaw. I want Trapjaw later. They don't just play, like, tons and tons. You know, like, they're not playing, like, Scape Shift that just, like, puts, like, just a ridiculous amount of 2-2s two that we really need a Flame Sweep. So I don't, I don't want to have, like, Flame Sweep in my opener against this kind of deck. It's like, Flame Sweep would be nice, like, really... Darn. Like, really late. Like, much later in the game it would be nice. But it's not something that I really want, like, in my opening hand too much. So we're just going to go with the big stuff. Yeah, 15 squirrels can kill an Emrakul. I mean, well, they'd have to have reach, but yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, Moxie. I'm glad this deck, this deck's made your day a lot better. This has definitely been a fun one. All four decks today have been fun. Throwback Thursdays are really sweet. No, this is this is the first time that we've seen Zakama. It's just the third game. We haven't we hadn't seen Zakama at all before. Hopefully the removal is Assassin's Trophy. Darn. Because they, they definitely had removal, like how it was going. I was hoping it was Assassin's Trophy. <laughs> yeah, I may... Yeah, we won't be able to have Throwback Thursday every day. That'll be hard to build that many decks. But I, I may start doing Throwback Thursday... More than just the one day a week. Coming up here. When we get closer to rotation. Well, good news, they only have the two cards. It's three now, but like, you know, they don't have anything scary. They just have, they don't even have any lands. Just have some removal spells. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like throw throwback Thursday Wednesday edition. No respect for Zakama. They don't think that I'm going to hit four more land drops before this game's over? Hmm. I wanted to see Marauding Raptor there, honestly, so I could just go Marauding Raptor plus ra Ranging Raptor. So I'll take the Ripjaw that I can play here. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll do a throwback week the week before rotation. We'll see. We'll kind of see like how many cards we get through and, and how many more cards that there are left and stuff.
So they played one mana, gain four life there with that Grazer. Uh, that was like the worst possible card we could see. That was a bummer. Wish I would have just ticked up. That one's hard to beat. Just look at how pushed this card is. Five mana, five, six reach compared to this eight mana, seven, six dino. Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan are just not, not at the power level of M M20 and War of the Spark. It made these things so good. over all right let's see it's like if i do play flame sweep it's like probably over hunt master i guess Kurtash, no stream Saturday, Sunday. Sub battle is the weekend after. The last Saturday of the month is the 31st. It's always the last Saturday of the month. And so that's weekend after we're doing sub battle. But no, no stream this Saturday and Sunday. All right, good hand. We get to keep it. Thanks, Yum. Welcome to the stream, too. All right, so probably just taking a land here with the commune. I could also just wait on commune. I guess I don't really need to play it turn one. I, I should probably just wait and kind of see what happens here. You know, going Huntmaster on turn two and then Marauding Ripjaw on turn three. And then we can kind of see, like, what my opponent's doing. Yeah, like what interaction they have, all that kind of stuff. Well, drawing Huntmaster wasn't great. So maybe I should have cast it so we wouldn't have drawn a Huntmaster. That was honestly our worst draw that we could have. They just have Noxious Grasp here, don't they? Mm 
like Noxious Grasp last Noxious Grasp slash Cast Down. So playing Ripjaw, like Ripjaw would not trigger there. They'll just kill the Ripjaw. So I'd rather them kill the Raptor here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Trophy. Yeah, our opponent is incredibly slow. Are they just like watching the stream and they're just like waiting for the, to see what I draw and stuff? They got other stuff going on? Like what's I don't know how they can really be this low. I am glad that Marauding Raptor got Assassin's Trophy to not one of these other dinosaurs though. I should have gotten mountain with instead of this forest before. Should have gotten mountain last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh man, I could take Zakama and we're one a land away from playing Zakama, but then of course they could just kill the hunt masters. But then if they kill the hunt masters, then they're not killing the other stuff and they're like dead. All right, come on, Zakama. Land? Not land. This gives any target, just gives dinosaurs haste. Can't just give human druids haste. Yeah, we needed to draw a land for Zakama. Alright, Assassin's Trophy, still not a very good removal spell. So we learned that. Ramping us up. You know, I think like game two, if, if they had Assassin's Trophies instead of Noxious Graphs, we would have won game two also, but you know, they had Noxious Graphs instead. All right, didn't get to Zakama, but still got there. <laughs> Please don't kill Marauding Raptor. Please don't kill Marauding Raptor. Or counter anything. All right, good start, good start. Mm. 
No. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. We'll just go. Raptor Stomp. Get that thing out of here. So definitely think they just have the wolf. I do not want... Like, I'm fine trading those. I'm not attacking with my 3-1. So if I attack there and they have an unsummon for the ra for the ranging raptors, it could be really bad for me. Obviously, I would love to do that with the Ranging Raptors instead, but... Need to get rid of Cutthroat. Raptors. I do some jump in. Okay. Pretty sure we're going to be attacking for lethal next turn. All right, Dino's up a game. This, so we will kind of trim our curve in this matchup. I don't want to trim my curve in very many matchups at all, but I guess this is like the one. I'll just take these things out, unfortunately. I'll keep a tolly. So yeah, we're just taking out big stuff to bring in Ceratops and the extra Carnage Tyrant. I think last time I kept in one Jisseth and took out the four mana Domri, I think.
No, I don't think this is really a flame sweep matchup. It's pretty easy for them to get like their two one out of flame sweep range and killing like the three mana card to kill like their one one flyer. I don't really care about that. I, I'd rather just go big. On the play, it would be a little bit tougher to keep this, but on the draw, I thought we'd get a land, and we did. Great draw for us there. We're going to be able to curve into the Ceratops. Oh, I... I like playing against this deck so much more than playing against the Bandscape Shift deck. I, I don't, I don't really mind having spells countered. I don't. I mean, it's just like the same as like I don't really see the difference in like essence scattering something or just playing cast down. Like you know, if we played the Drover and they would have cast downed it, like what's? It's not really. It's just like one for one removal. You know, like we just trade trade cards one for one, whether it's a counter spell or something else, isn't really that big of a deal to me. That's a good card. Grow Chamber Guardian's a nice little sideboard thing that 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 kills Ceratops. So I'm getting Domri in play first so that we can next turn make the Ceratops a 6-5. I'll just play 5-5 five, five Reggie Alpha. I guess I should just do that right now again while they're tapped out. Because Ceratops will resolve even when they're not topped, tapped out. Um, so if they use removal on Reggie, do I want to chump here to keep Domri alive for a turn? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna hurt when this is through. Cool. I'll take that trade. Better for Domri. Do not want to see another Sailor. That one's fine. We can block that thing. We need to draw one more land for this Carney T. Oh, please, sir. Give me some more. before you get your teeth kicked in.
That was just a lapse in judgment by me. I did so good playing around that thing last game. I just didn't hear. Certainly should have. So basically, I should not have attacked with this 3 3. Attacking with the Alpha was fine. I shouldn't have attacked with the 3 3. Alright, so that was a really bad attack. We're still doing okay, though. Especially they're this focused on Domri. We will rise again. Because we should be able to outrace them. But yeah, that was a very bad turn for me, that last turn. But we were ahead, and we're still looking good. Let's see if I can finish it out. Maybe not. Double Ambusher is going to be tough to beat. That's going to be tough to beat. Wow. So they have to have something. We have this if they have nothing. <clears throat> okay, they had something. All right, so I think that was a winnable game. I think I threw that away. I think I could have won that. I don't know. We would have just been like stalemated. And it's tough to beat double. Double ambusher is really tough to beat. But I just shouldn't have made that attack when I did. That Growth Chamber Guardian was pretty nice for them as well. All right, yeah, let's let's shock in for commune cuz we could we could find marauding raptor. And of course that unsummon was pretty good too. Well, carnage tyrant costs 6 mana. There rainbow, we only had 5 mana. We could not cast carnage tyrant. Yeah, lost lost that the mana reduction creature. I definitely should have shocked in for stomping ground there and attacked for five. 
<laughs> it's getting late in the stream, making a couple little mistakes here. I was thinking, I don't know, I thought, I thought just like, you know, play the, like I thought I'd, I'd be able to do that, but I didn't have a third green, so I couldn't actually do that. Get our ramping in. Yeah, the Growth Chamber Guardian tech has been awesome for them. So I could try to resolve Ripjaw, I won't get the trigger with Marauding Raptor. Oh, they had Scatter. I played around Syncopate by playing that land. Dang. We just got four lands out with ranging raptors. So my thinking here is attack because, like, it's it's a terrible attack into a wolf, but if they have a wolf, we're going to die. Because I have nothing, and nothing cannot beat a wolf. So my thing of attacking there is it's just the best bet is just to attack and hope they don't have a wolf. Two cards are wolves. I don't understand that attack. We get to kill both the wolves. I mean, I'm I'm still probably dead, I guess. Maybe. Double check. Ooh, we're going to have land, land on top. I don't know if that's how that works, but... Dang. <clears throat> Still land. Man, really flooded out there with our 24 land deck. Really flooded out pretty bad there. Ugh. 
So give for taking out Jasath. Because yeah, I'm not even playing 25 lands, which I normally do. We're only playing 24. But the, the Ranging Raptors have definitely been good. I've liked him so far. All right. What do we got for match number five? The first Simic Flash beat him down with Ceratops. The second one had those Growth Chamber Guardians. That was a really nice card against... Um, Ceratops. So Simic Flash again. Grazer. We've only played against Simic decks. We've played against, like, right? Hasn't this only? Yeah, because we had we had one match where our opponent didn't show up, and then we played against Soltai Field, Soltai Field, and Simic Flash, Simic Flash. That's pretty boring. Really fast hand for them. You know, turn three, you rock. I guess it's turn I guess they were on the play, turn four on the play. Maybe. Yeah, we're a Jasath Sun's Avatar deck. That's why we're Naya. And not Jun, because you can't can't play just at Sun's Avatar and Jun. I mean, I guess you could, but probably not advised to. All right, Awakening Suns and Trap Jaw Tyrant in. Burning Sun and a Rip Jaw out. No, let's take out a Reggie. Yeah, Reggie's pretty small in this matchup. So that was that was turn two Reef, turn three your rock, turn four million zombies. Well, my hand was was awful. So if you're gonna have a really bad hand, like if your opponent's gonna have just like, just a, a ridiculously good hand that just does something like that, it's good to pair it up against your hand that's awful, and then hopefully you have like two above average hands that beat two average hands, for like the other games, for like the real games. No, I don't want flame sweep in this matchup. I didn't board it in before either, and we were fine without it. They're they're not playing scape shift, so they don't usually get tons of zombies like that. Like that was an that was not something that usually happens. Yes, they play Tested Reef.
That's unfortunate they took the big dino. The avatar. No, sir. Sarah, if I do not. Mythic level play is higher is higher level than the constructed leagues. Keep the land in hand. Maybe they thought Erasure. into that. That was a bad play by me. That was that was a bad play by me. Uh, it's not been the, the best played league by me for sure tonight. I have worn down. Hey, noob, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. So this is pretty awesome. We are going to be able to, hopefully, we should, should be able to attack with Atali. Which, I don't know if I've ever attacked with Atali, to be honest with you. <clears throat> Alright, I give up. I'll we'll just play this land. You know, they don't have Thought Rage or anything. No! Oh man, what a draw. Ugh, what a draw. A 5 6 plus 2. 2 2s. Ugh. What a draw stub. That was killer. Yeah, and we hit a land from them with the Atali as well.
So like, I know I could have killed the Cavalier of Thorns with the Atali, but it just doesn't make any sense because they just get another Cavalier of Thorns back. And, you know, multiple zombies and everything. I could have waited a turn to attack, I guess, but... I mean, it's still, like, this is just, like, the best thing to do is just try to fight through all these tutus. Gosh, Cavalier Thorns is so ridiculous. Like my their worst possible turn is just making two two twos. I mean, what can I get? I mean, I guess I could get if I draw Zakama. Does Zakama do damage to players, or does it only do damage to creatures? Yeah, it's just creatures. What a turn. This looked so good for us after that Itali. And they drew... Really the best card in their deck. That they could draw. With Cavalier of Thorns into... Into a Field of the Dead in play. And also putting another Cavalier of Thorns in the graveyard. That's just too good. But yeah, we did hit that sub goal there during that match. So I'll be writing that down towards our next 12 hour stream. Hey, Anomander, thank you so much for that support as well. There. <laughs> yeah, we need more commune with the dinosaurs, right? We need more of those. Didn't seem like four was enough. We need more of those things. All right, so we got to, uh, we never played Zakama, um, but we did get to attack with Atali once. Um, we did get to, we only got to, we only drew Jasath like one time, or like we were, I don't know if we drew it just one time, but we only got to play it once. And we played it, we attacked, um, we got two damage in past a Yurok. We had the two trample damage, and then it put another Jasath into play, and that was awesome. That was worth the league. That was really cool. Then they, 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 Proceeded to Assassin's Trophy, my Jasath, and I think I lost the game. I think. I don't remember that specific game, but that was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, on, they have a lot of removal for Takali Honor Guard, but it, and it doesn't really stop their whole deck because Takali Honor Guard doesn't stop Field of the Dead triggers. Um. Yeah, could have had Blood Suns in here. Talked about it before. I, I wasn't really prepared for the Yurok version. I was more prepared for, like, the other version. Like, the other version I want, like, the Scape Shift version, I want the Flame Sweeps. And I went that route, route to have those against the Scape Shift version and against Aggro. Um, but the Flame Sweeps just aren't very good against that Yurok version. Um but there we go. That's Naya Dinosaurs. We got to do some cool dinosaur stuff. We're going big or going home. Um, there we go. All right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, again, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Also, don't forget to uh, leave a comment. Let me know what rares and mythics that are rotating out of standard right now that you want to see played in a future throwback Thursday. But thanks for watching Naya Dinos. Also, if you missed any of the other decks that we played today, they were all a lot of fun. I had, I had a lot of fun with all these decks today. This was a, a pretty sweet stream. So make sure you check out the other ones. There is a uh, YouTube playlist that has all of the Throwback Thursday decks that I have had before. Um, and there we go. There's the YouTube. Uh, there's my link to the YouTube. But yeah, there's a playlist that has all the Throwback Thursday decks. They've been my favorites. 
Uh, they've been pretty awesome. We've done 10 of them so far now. Uh, but again, thanks for watching Naya Dinos, and I will see you for the next video.